why I put you on this video because, like me, you are a fan of 90s supermodel fashion. The best thing about supermodel fashion is that it is super easy and basic. It is simple pieces, clean lines, and I'm super excited to show you what I put together today. And I had so much fun doing this video for you guys. So without further ado, let's see some of these outfits. So it wouldn't be the 90s without the perfect little black mini skirt. Of course, this one is from Steve Madden, and it happens to be a skirt and a great little slit in the front. I paired that with my Fashion Cafe t-shirt. I absolutely love this shirt. It's a reproduction of the Fashion Cafe t-shirts that all of the supermodels wore back in the 90s from the Fashion Cafe that was in New York. Of course, my Fashion Cafe little ensemble would not be complete without black knee-high boots. Everybody should have a pair of black knee-high boots. I think they're so versatile to be able to dress up, dress down an outfit. Oops. They're so versatile to be able to dress up, dress down outfits, and I think you cannot go wrong ever with all black ensemble. Then taking some of the basic ideas is with the first outfit, I have my little green olive mini skirt. This little guy is so cute. I wear it a little bit low waisted because y'all low rise is coming back with a vengeance. To be honest, I'm here for it. And I paired it with my black little, I don't know what you would call this. It's not really a tank top. It's really not a t-shirt. It's kind of faux turtlenecky, faux, I don't even know what it is. I wouldn't call it a tank top exactly either, but it's this great little black top and it's got some length to it. And I just showed a slither of stomach with it. And I feel like it was such a great outfit, very comfortable, very cute. And of course I did it with the black boot. I mean, you can't go wrong with these guys. The big cornerstone of the supermodel 90s style was mini skirts. Mini skirts were such a thing and all their age. And it's so simple and it's so easy. And of course you can mix and match things and just kind of keeping all those clean lines together. So I really love doing that. Plus I'm a big fan of showing off my legs. It's an area of my body I'm very comfortable with. So for me, that's just a win. The next piece is my little halter. This little slinky, shimmery little halter piece kind of reminds me of the Claudia Schiffer halter dresses we saw. Oh my gosh, so pretty, so stunning. This one, I would like it to be a little more fitted and maybe down the road I would consider getting it altered and kind of being a little more form fitting, but I really love this one. Um, this one is from Nasty Gal. And I also really like it because it's got enough length on me because I'm a tall girl and you know, sometimes these little dresses can be a little too short for comfort, but this one I think was really nice and elegant. And with it, I did these little mules. These have a little braided kind of Bottega Veneta looking kind of heel. And I think they're super sexy. I mean, mule sandals were such a 90s thing. Carrie Bradshaw was obsessed with them. You saw them on all the supermodels. Like everybody who's anybody was into those mule sandals. These are not Manolo Blahnik, but um, I still think they're cute and I love them. And keeping in that slinky, sexy trend, I went for something that had a little more coverage, but was still very alluring. Beautiful kind of raw edge slip dress from Zara. This I got probably a few years ago in like 2020, I believe, but it's gorgeous. And it's kind of this buttercream, uh, silky kind of color. The material is really substantial and it has this little lace peeping out, which I think is super, super sexy and like playful. And instead of going for kind of a more obvious, uh, sexy heel kind of thing, strappy stiletto moment, I decided to do something kind of fun and playful and I did my Chanel dupes. Um, these are from Franco Sarto and they look very, very similar to those Chanel cap toe, black cap toe heels that everyone wears. You know, it's got a little bit of a heel to it and I think it was really pretty and kind of surprising. And I thought it was a fun little outfit to wear. I felt very cool and hip in it, but still sexy. Kind of like a little demure nod there. And I think that's something that you would see a lot of the supermodels back in the day kind of do. You have it. Those are some little starting points for you guys for 90s supermodel. I really enjoy, like I said, this aesthetic. It is something that I think is very doable because it is basic pieces and you can get so much mileage off of it because all of the pieces can kind of mix and match together and you can always funk them up with like throwing a blazer or a leather jacket over the dresses and kind of do all that kind of fun juxtapositioning. I also really like it because it's simple, it's easy and wearable as far as 
you could go to a nice dinner in these kind of outfits or you could be going to a rock show and you could feel equally comfortable just by changing the heel to maybe the boot to you know just depending on what you're doing but these outfits are great for date nights i think that you could get a lot a lot of wear out of this so if you are kind of stuck on what to wear have a date or event and you really want to knock someone out i really suggest looking at 90s supermodel outfits for inspiration the other thing i really appreciate about 90s supermodel is the outfits themselves while they are beautiful they're very simple and so i think that's really what you saw back in the 90s was it wasn't oh my god look at the dress look at that it's so beautiful it was look at the girl so the fashion itself was really kind of more on the basic side, but because it was so basic and it was form fitting, you saw the person wearing it, which I think sometimes we forget, you know, in this day of TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, like all of these kind of ostentatious outfits, everybody's trying to have the most sequence, this, that. We forget it shouldn't be about the piece, it should be about the girl. And you want to stand out for yourself. You want people to say, oh my gosh, that girl's so stunning, not like her dress is stunning. Which, I mean, yeah, sometimes it is fun to have like a crazy piece, like, hi, I love fashion, I live for all of that, but it's also really nice to kind of allow yourself to be center stage and you take kind of the focus versus the garment you're wearing. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And stay tuned, I'm going to have some other looks and videos coming out very soon for you guys. So uh, just go ahead and keep tuned and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!